Hi there. Um, I want to bring up this discussion um, because I think it's an important one to bring up about the social and community issues involving white people. I think the issue involving white people has always been a very sensitive issue when it comes to regarding race and issues like that because um, white people always seem to come under a banner of a thing called racist stigmata if you know what I mean, like, you know, wounds, like of being racial persecution. Um, I think the reason that is, many white people who um, don't wish to be racially integrated into multiracial society choose to pick up fascist doctrine as an answer to their issue for racial survival. I think that's what it is with a lot of white supremacists. I think they pick up these issues not because they believe in supremacy, but they believe the only way to maintain the existence of their people is to racially suppress another race. And as in return, well, vice versa can happen back on you. But I've often believed the issue that these people need to do is look at it from this issue. I believe in every country in the world populated by white people, about 65% of that population have never been interested in being part of a racial setup of a non-mixing society. At least that 65% have always really basically wanted, didn't care that they don't care if they mix their seed into racial love. It's not a crime, I have nothing against it. I think it's perfectly fine because if that's what you want to do, that's up to the, you. I couldn't argue if a member of my family or daughter, whatever, was to marry into another culture, another race, say Afro or Indian or Chinese, whatever, because no matter what, that's her choice and no matter what, that would be my grandchild, whatever, if she were to have one. But for me, I don't racially integrate on interracial love or interracial dating. I'm not a racist or anything, but I just don't wish to lose um, basically my racial heritage. The reason being, um, I believe that 45% in every country of the white population who don't wish to mix but who choose to pick up fascist doctrines and ideologies as a key to survival is the mistake they're making is what they should do is they should go into a new form of social development. Example like another word I call social construct. Not building sites. It's a word actually mean for people in organising the community. In building their own racial setup with their own new system of organisation for their peoples. So that way they can live and function themselves in a multiracial society without their love dying and at the same time gain the respect of other peoples. You'd say, how would you do that though? Because they have to have some identity to do that. See, I'm basically, I prefer not to be identified as a white person, I prefer to be identified as a pagan. I've often believed that the pagan meaning is a ancient European meaning, it doesn't mean Native Americans, Aboriginal peoples, certain African tribes. It's the original racial identity of what we're known as white people. And I'm aiming to build a new culture, a new religion for pagan people. It doesn't mean to say I don't believe in God. I have many friends from Christians to Jehovah's Witnesses. They're good people. And um, I respect them and I'm sure hopefully they can respect me. I think the issue is that why I want to build this system is because these people like this, once they get integrated into that system and become part of that creation, their new clothing, their new culture, their new identity will identify them as a people who just do not do interracial mixing, sexually that is. They can have friends, Afro friends, Indian friends, whatever, but by their identity people will respect that on them people and understand that these people are not part of that setup. Whereas those people who are not part of the same setup, who have chosen to remain as a white identity, who do wish to interracially mix and date sexually, these people cannot be part of that system or wear these clothing or these identities because that way you're giving two different identities. One is pagan and one is white. And I think that is a true example of when you're giving out and building a thing called racial identity. I don't think white people ever had a thing called racial identity. Never, ever. They were just white people. And for centuries, their society did not live any form of social development. No racial infrastructure, no nothing. The system I'm hoping to build is one where we have schoolings for pagan children, many other aspects, our own private pagan council, 
to discuss the issues of how to govern our peoples. It's not mainstream government because something like that you could never have and that's why I've often believed it's a better idea to have things like that. Back in the Roman times, even though it was a bit different, many societies under Roman occupation were allowed to have their own form of system of little governments like that, but they weren't allowed to be part of mainstream governments and with the Roman government that was fine because they did respect local issues. I believe the issue with people like, um, say Nick Griffin, people like that who really have come under the hammer a lot recently. Yes, they made mistakes earlier on in their life because they took up the wrong ideals and ideologies. But I think if Nick Griffin was given the opportunity to be integrated into another system of a non-racist social development project, I think you would see a different person in Nick Griffin and stuff like that. Because I think the problem is, the reason he was always talking about wanting to live in a white Britain and stuff and things like that, is not because he didn't want to live with other people. So I can't imagine that, that Nick Griffin is a hypocrite or an idiot. I think what it was, he didn't have a system built of any racial infrastructure where his future generations could survive, that he's a man who's thinking, well, say, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 60 years, 80 years. My grandchildren's or great-grandchildren's, they will have died and now they be replaced by another racial group, by interracial dating. I don't see that as an act of an evil man who doesn't want his children to die. I think it's to do with nature that he's only a member of the animal kingdom like all of us. I think if we were to try and put him into a new form of development, like the one I want to build, you can see different people. See, it's not about condemning these people forever as racists. It's about trying to redevelop them into a new creation. What I believe is the proper creation to live in. That when it's done and built and structured, you'll begin to understand why all these things like fascist societies, fascist doctrines, swastikas and stuff like that, they will die overnight because they will have found a way with knowledge in the key to survival and how to live peacefully amongst other races and other peoples without their love ever dying or their children ever dying. Because they will have a separate racial identity from those who are part of white and those who are pagan. They will have for the first time ever a proper racial code to live under. It won't mean the society that it's racism or anything because they'll begin to earn the respect of other peoples that these are human beings and they too are members of the animal kingdom and they have the right to preserve their children, their love and their seed. Things like white supremacy and stuff like that will just be forgotten, that people would have come to understand how these things might have really happened and what caused them. I don't really know how things like fascism came about, like swastikas and Nazisms and NFFs, whatever and stuff like that. I think they're horrible things. And the truth is, white people who present their people in that society have got to be thick because the image is saying that this is evil when they're trying to say, like, we care for you, we love you, but it's not. It's putting a terrible burden on their children. It's putting a yoke of fascism on them that they will only ever be condemned whenever they try and speak on behalf of their people. I think the issue with white people is something that has to be understood from a clearer issue, that for centuries people didn't understand, that they were talking about mental children, if you look at white society as a whole, in general, the history of it, they were mental children. They weren't what they thought they were. They were very ill. They had a lot of social problems, and their story of the white people, for me, was what I would call a very sad story. I think what I aim to do is when I try and help people who are in this situation, who don't want their love to die, but are making a mistake of picking up fascist doctrines, if I can begin building this society and building a community of people, you'll soon begin to realise how quickly it will take off all over the world. It might sound very stupid to some people. Only a hypocrite would call it this racist and call it uneducated and stuff like that. Preserving your children is not racist. Wanting to keep your child alive is not racist. Wanting to keep your love alive is not racist. See, people have always blamed certain white people on issue. Well, you like to mix, you like to do this. Well, now it's happening in your garden and stuff like that. It never was that issue. Like I said, 65% of the white population have always been prone to mixing. They're not bothered. It was at least 45%. It might even be less. They've always had an issue that they didn't want to, not because they're racist. They don't want to break their own bonds of love. And that is the reason being, I think these people have the right to build a new society where they can live in peace with other peoples. I think that's a fair judgement. 
on that issue because not only do I want to build this society, I want to build a new culture for white people in an aspect that white children can be seen as an image of love, white children can be seen as lovely things, not evil Nazi things and stuff like that. I don't want to wake up in the mornings and watch programs and history things about Hitlers and stuff like that and black shirts and things like that. I want educated programs about white development, white society and a new white culture and pagan religion that I'm hoping to build. And hopefully people can understand this is far more structured, far more educational and far more better to understand than any of these fallen doctrines and fallen societies they were living in for centuries. I have a website up at the moment, it's called PaganGenesisFoundation.org. It's damaged at the moment and it's badly written because there was some bad editing done on it. Not by the people that built the site, but by the certain people who helped me write it and it's got to be re-edited and a lot of work. But please check it up and have a look at it and see some of the ideas that we're trying to build and hopefully you'll get the grasp on the issue. It's PaganGenesisFoundation.org. I hope you all have a nice day. I'd just like to express the, also the issue that I think people like in other communities like Afro peoples, Indian peoples, all Asian peoples, Orientals and everything, whatever, it's the same thing I think for them as well living in a multiracial society. It's 65%, 45% do and don't. Maybe they should try and follow the same code with their values on culture and religion and maybe try and build an answer by building their religion on that aspect that certain cultures and things that they wear, other people who are into the interracial mixing can't wear those things, that they should build their own systems. That way, people like us and them could live together happily in a multiracial society with respect for each other. And those people who do do interracial mixing would also have to have respect for us as well and therefore understand that this is not a racial thing, that a whole generation of other racial groups have come out of it who have the same feelings and ideas about these issues. Thank you very much.